Hey YouTube, I have been neglecting y'all. I'm gonna show y'all some love this weekend. So I have been crabbing, um, probably about two weeks now. So today is Friday. I don't even got my watch on. Today is Friday. I don't even think it's 10 o'clock yet. And I'm going to bake three pots here. So here's one. Now I'll the camera. this down so you can see. So I got a fish in there and one crab. Can you see that? So we know we got one. What I have here is some chicken. I usually don't wear gloves, but I got to go to the grocery store and this stuff is so nasty. So if you don't know, if you don't know, I'm seasonal at a campground. What seasonal means is um, we have a camper that's sat there permanent um, and we can stay here from March to November. So it's our spot. It's still a public campground, but it's like kind of private because you just can't come here. You have to have reservations. So um, that's why I have these crab pots here. And then we have another property that we do own that we're building a house on and I crab there too. I'm gonna move I do have a buoy um, somebody I ain't gonna say call me out because fair is fair on TikTok and said that it is unlawful to toss any crab pot without the buoy that is true even though this is private property I'm not gonna bust nobody else out and say well nobody else got buoys on theirs some do in the water they need them so they can float but here, most people don't, but I am gonna put some buoys on later. So I'm gonna move this crab pot to this side. And because it's a campground, people will help themselves to your crabs. It just started happening. Well, I'm not gonna say just, but it does happen. So I'm putting locks on mine and I don't know if somebody been in there. I mean, they can still take the whole cage, but at least nobody's gonna go over my crab pot. So for YouTube, I did this on TikTok. Let me show you how this works. So this is a crab pot, also known as a crab cage or crab trap. And it has a hole on each side right here. See that? One there, one on the other side, and one on the other side. And at the bottom right here in the middle, this opens up. That's where I put my bait. See, I put some chicken in there. So this whole thing is attached to a string that I drop in the water. And I'm gonna let you see me drop it in the water. And then I'm gonna retrieve it. Probably I'll retrieve it tomorrow. So here it is, and it's going in the water. I'm gonna do this string kind of tight because this is a boat slip and I don't want the cork, this um, rope to be too loose that it hits somebody's boat. And that's it. Here's another crab pot. I have three over here. dirt making so heavy so I'm baiting pot number two I had a good weekend last week and last week I got about 44 crabs
Oh, I don't think I showed you the opening. So this is the opening right here. See that? So when I want to get the crabs out, I lift that up and I get my tongs and pull the crabs out. I was getting a lot of... So I'm gonna take this one down to the end and see how it does. I like to move them around and see, you know, which area is best. So, okay, I'm at five minutes. I hate making long videos. I will be back with part two so you can see what I caught.